It's National Nurses Week, and we've been sharing stories from the local frontline workers about the challenges they faced in the past year. Amid the nursing shortage, some people are choosing to change their career and join the ranks of nurses in Indiana. Our Alyssa Donovan explains one woman's story on how she made the change and why. It's a very emotionally driven job, but it's excessively rewarding. Fawn Helmer is an ICU nurse at Putnam County Hospital. I really love working in my small town community. But it took her a while to get here, making a career move later on in life. For 20 years, Helmer was working in a different job. Before that, I was a florist. On and off since I was in high school. Helmer working as a florist until she chose to pursue nursing. She wanted a job where she could help others. Being able to take care of the people that um, I get to see on a daily basis has been phenomenal. But it wasn't easy to make the switch. Helmer had support from her family as she went back to school at Ivy Tech in Terre Haute. It took her four years to complete her degree, and she continued working as a florist while she did it. They kept encouraging me to keep going. Earning her degree in 2013, she worked in several different specialties. First started off in postpartum care, then labor and delivery, and then I switched to Putnam County and went into the surgery department. This past year, the most challenging of her nursing career after being transferred to ICU and working on the COVID unit. You know, having these families that um, don't get to go in and see their loved ones, um, being the only person that they get to see, and they didn't even get to see all of you. They only got to see a part of you because you're constantly covered. And while it's been emotional and hard at times, Helmer can't imagine doing anything else. Anybody who's looking for a daily challenge, wanting to constantly learn, it's a very rewarding thing to do where you get to make a difference. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV. A recent study shows only 17% of second career registered nurses come from a background in health care. The rest had jobs outside of the industry before choosing nursing. Another study shows that more than a quarter of second career nurses are 40 and older, which means it's never too late to make the change.